five, count them, five games over 500 as we speak today. That's where the Mariners are for the second time uh, this year as uh, they approach very close to the halfway point of the season like we were talking about on the show today that has seemingly flown by. Yeah. Uh, and the way they're playing, they are now virtually tied for the second wild card spot uh, with the Baltimore Orioles. And, and, you know, I think the question's being asked, was this put more pressure on the Mariner front office to make moves? I think that pressure is always there myself. I mean, I think it's always there. Whether or not it translates into a move remains to be seen. But I think in particular when you're when you're threatening to contend and you have a winning record, sure that pressure's there. But I think it's there no matter what. I, I think it's there, but if you're listen, if they're we're sitting here and they're five games under five hundred, maybe they're looking at it like, well, let's just see what what we look like when we get healthy and not give up on any prospects. I think you're, there'd be more reluctance to make a move as opposed to feeling like it's right there in front of you. You can see it. You can see a playoff run. Uh, you know. So the idea that it's that much closer, maybe they're a little better than they anticipated considering the injuries they had. And we, we've documented all the injuries they've had. We've documented the start to the season that was as treacherous as any with all the road games, all the in-division games. And here they are, five games over 500. They've literally overcome everything. Mm -hmm. You know, an up and down lineup that's produced nothing to producing 12 runs to, you know, and they're still here. And then you start to wonder, well, what if they had a consistent bat to help out Robinson Cano. Oh, yeah. You I know, mean, it would be fantastic. So I, it, I don't think I, you can get it done, though, now. I mean, I don't think it's yeah, their it, fault. I just don't think you can really make make those kind of deals at the end of June. No, and it's, it'd be highly unlikely right now, but if this continues, if they can remain five games over, four games over in that, you know, right there with that second wild card spot come to the end of July, Boy, I think that pressure is probably more than what they anticipate, and it's good because you're in a position maybe you didn't anticipate, being in contention for a postseason. Well, right, and, and for me it's always if you're above 500 versus below. Sure, you can be below 500 and still in the race, but you know you're not a good club. Right. right? And, and Below 500, you're not going to make it. If you're already playing above 500 ball and you're still in the race, I mean, that, that's the point for, for me. You're like, you know, okay, you really are looking to add. You are a playoff caliber team. You can go ahead and, you know, forget about the future. The future is right. Right now when you're a good club and that's what they've shown so far right but that's the key it's probably a month to go before you can really make those kind of deals will they still be a good club in a month well we keep hearing how aggressive they are so I think they anticipate being good because we've heard they've been in touch with everybody Jack Z and all these people according to Ken Rosenthal they've been one of the most aggressive teams out there in pursuing trades We'll see what it amounts to, but it sounds like they're, they're prepping themselves for the idea that they'll remain this good. Let's hope so, man.